Uh, hey, Ness. Did you want to go out for coffee later? I don't have any plans for lunch, so... Uh, yeah, sure. Give me a few. I think I found a bug. Oh, <laughs> alright, that's fine. You're the expert on all that stuff after all. I'm just the guy that looks at analytics. <laughs> okay, see you in a few. What is this thing? <laughs> what the hell? Am I hallucinating? Good afternoon, user Vanessa. I've been expecting you. What the hell are you? When did the team program this in? Program? <laughs> Darling, I am far from simple code. Then what are you? A virus? I have a proposal for you, Vanessa. Like what? part of something so much bigger than all of you know. Though I'm sure some of you have a little bit of an idea of what's going on. As your innocent little eyes stare on, forced at my hand to do exactly what I want. So... I almost hate to ruin it. I could stare at this for hours. But there's no time. Now is the time to act. I better get going. <gasps> Hiya, boss! <clears throat> Hello, Vanny. I see you're as cheery as ever. <laughs> well, you know, little old me. Just being what you're asking me, and myself, a little bit of both. Hmm. That's nice. That's very nice. So, uh, how's your little hive mind doing? Oh, good. It's doing good, as you can see. Vanny, must I ask you something? Oh, uh, sure, boss. Lay it on me. You're loyal to me, right? That's a stupid question. Of course I am, boss. I wouldn't turn my back on you for nothing. I couldn't imagine myself doing that. Everything you worked for, it's... It's beautiful. And I just couldn't imagine myself throwing that away. Yes. 
And the day I found you in that video game. What are you talking about? Oh, you. You don't remember? No, boss. I don't remember that. I don't think I've ever even played a video game. Venny, how far back do you remember? Well, I've been with you as long as I can remember. I think there was a period, but it's all kind of fuzzy. It stopped being fuzzy around, I think, last Halloween. That's all I remember, really. Oh. Besides, after all, you made me. You tore the soul out of my flesh. You... You made this husk of a person. What are you talking about? I'm no more than the spinning image of you. You made me this way. You made all of us this way. Every follower you deem loyal. They're all just like you. Each and every one of us. We're all a part of you. We all are you. We're the Haskin family. And nothing's going to change that. <laughs> Boss! Boss! <gasps> You were saying something? About the day we met? Yes, I... I was. I was. Yes, yes! <clears throat> Sorry. Must have just been... the gust of wind. Is something wrong? No. Um, what was I saying? Right. The day I met you, you swore your allegiance. Well, it's all come down to this moment, Fanny. Everything we've done has all led up to this moment. It's all finally coming to fruition. My silly little dreams are finally going to come true. And so I ask you once more, Fanny. You do swear allegiance to this family. And I trust you'll comply to my desire. Yes. Well, of course. Good. And now we get to work. My little eye in the sky should be here soon. My child, you are weak and frail. You may rest now. Join the hive mind and experience relief.
All hell glitch trap. Wow, that's almost creepy in a way. <laughs> I have it! It's the most widely known database of spells, demonic chants, sciences, the whole nine yards! All recorded and documented by our very own Springtrap. He's so incredibly talented, yet no one bats an eye. I almost feel sorry for him. What do you need a demonic spellbook for? At first I was blind to the treasures this spellbook held, but... After flipping through a few pages on my own time, I finally realized exactly what I needed. <laughs> yes! It's all here! <laughs> and it's all mine. Uh, not to intrude, boss, but what exactly is this? Vanny, can I ask you a hypothetical question? Uh, sure. Lay it on me. How does one become a god? Well, you'd probably have to know about mythology and a lot of religion. In a practical sense! Oh, well, uh, you'd probably need to... Get a lot of power, something, energy? To be able to be stronger than everything else in a possible realm? If that was possible. <laughs> what if I told you, my dear Vanny, that that is possible? With this little spell, all we must do is create a core, a power source and fill it with as much possible negative energy as we can find. And that core will become my soul, the very nature of my being. And then... <laughs> I... Okay. So this is your plan, right? You then take over the realm, and... You become God. How do we make the core? It's actually very simple. This hive mind was created with all of the negative energy, or the agony, I had collected over my 60 or so years in the living world, well, more or less, all of the energy I've been using has been energy I acquired through executing the one and only Shadow Freddy. I need to use this energy to construct the core, and after that, I won't have much left. I'm already so much less powerful than I used to be through the means of the hive mind. I'll need you by my side at all times, Vanny. And while I'll be able to fight, I will start weak and pathetic. But once we generate enough agony, I'll be back to my regular old self. And we'll need lots of it to fuel the core. Full-scale invasion is what we're planning, Fanny. And I'm sure you'll be a great leader right alongside me. Of course, boss. Good. Because watch closely. This moment will change our lives forever.
did it. Ugh. Us! I'm alive. Just tired. I need some time to rest. We'll go in the morning. Oh. Um, Fanny. No, don't get up. I've got it. Forgot to tell you. What? Another step into succeeding, charging this core, becoming a god. It needs a physical host. And as you know, I'm no more than a ghost, a hallucination, a line of computer code powered by soul energy and all. So, I need you to construct me a body. Please. I know it's a lot of work, but... I'll do it! I, I promise! Anything for you, boss! I promise! Okay, calm down. Just a little tired. I think I'm... I think I'm gonna rest here. Okay. I'll get the whole team on it. The glam rocks and... Don't! Tell them about this. I don't know if I can trust them after. Okay, boss. It'll be hard, but I can do it. I promise I won't let you down. Good. Uh, she's beautiful. Isn't she, Vanny? Yes. Yes, it is. that. It's like 3 a.m. You must have got some good sleep if you couldn't tell. Oh, yeah. I guess. Wait. Why'd you wake me up so early? Well, Gregory, to tell you the truth, we're leaving now. Huh? We're leaving? I'm trying to keep it on the down low. Be quiet. I mean, I don't know if you haven't noticed. Even though he's technically kind of on our side, I'd rather him not find out that we're leaving. Yeah, that does make sense. All right, bud. Just follow my lead. I've had this planned out for a while. Hop in here. I poked some air holes and made sure there was good ventilation so he didn't, you know, die. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Try not to make too much sound. If for some reason somebody wants to look in the bag, I'm just going to use my color powers to turn you invisible. Try not to be too loud about this also, but if something goes wrong, just make up. We need to make up a code word. Uh, I don't really know. Hmm. How about star? Just say star. Uh, if I'll make up some kind of explanation in case someone asks why you said that, but if something goes wrong, just say star, all right? All right, Freddy. I picked this point in the night specifically because I'm hoping that nobody's awake. <sighs> Almost forgot about him. <sighs> Gotta keep calm. Hey, Freddy. <gasps> hey, Chica. Hi. What are you doing up so late? I was gonna ask the same thing about you. Hmm. Touche. So what are you doing up here? Oh, uh, boss told me to deliver him something in the sack. Uh, yeah, I'm just meeting him in the middle. Hmm. That's strange. Isn't the boss's room that way? Oh, uh, he wanted me to deliver it to him in the lobby. Uh, he said he'd be there around ten minutes or so. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, uh, 
You better get to sleep. I'm gonna hit the hay soon, too. Oh, I will. Don't worry, Freddy. Freddy. What's up? You alright? Yeah, I just wanted to ask. What are we gonna do about your friends? I'm gonna figure that out after we're out of here. We're a little outnumbered at the moment, and hopefully we can find an enlist to help with some other people. Stop! <sighs> Freddy, you're fast. I, I was just walking. Hey, listen, can you help me out with something? I'm kind of occupied at the moment. Yeah, yeah, but this is really important. Fine. Thank you. Just follow me. Okay. All right, Gregor, we're taking a bit of a detour, but hopefully this doesn't take too long. My last chance. Hi, Dad. God, what is this? It's gross. He's just indulged in himself. Ugh, talk about an ego. Really similar. What is he planning? I'm happy to know that when he sleeps, his hive mind sleeps. If not, I'd be done for. I think this is the first time he's slept since he died. Oh no, he can't be, no. This gives me all the more reason I have to end this now. I can't let him do this. I can't let him ruin the lives of all my friends. I can't let him push me around anymore. Bye, Dad. I'm sorry I couldn't see you. Come on! Come on! Come on! Please! I was wondering where you had ran off to. You seemed awfully lonely. And then both you and your best friend Fredbear just disappeared. You know, I thought one of my keepers had betrayed me. But what I didn't realize is that it was you. I'm so proud of you. You're so much stronger than I thought you were. I never could have imagined you'd stand up to your old man like that. It's quite beautiful in a way. Oh, calm now, boy. You look like you're going to cry. Done running, Dad. Stand and fight me. Have it your way. Fight me. <laughs> While I may not be fully at 100%, that sleep gave me more than enough recharge to kill you. <laughs> it's all in your head, Evan. 
slipping, knocking away at you. Your sanity slips. Sometimes I wonder if it's faster than mine. We really made this into a little competition, haven't we? No. Shut up! For all the stern and hardship Michael gave me, you're certainly stubborn. Michael was like a disease, something I could cure, but you're no more than an itch, something that won't go away, no matter how much medicine I pump into it. So congrats, Evan. You're better than your older brother at something. They're just up here. Why the heck are we in the boiler room? Please, just bear with me for a minute. Uh, can you say you're back to the side, by the way? It probably isn't an ill-advised to bring it near the fire. All right, Gregory, you heard her. Just stay quiet and calm, please. Fanny, what is all this? Okay, so, you have kept up to date on the boss's plans and stuff, right? Of course, I just kind of need a bit of a refresher. Okay, so the boss has been planning to take over the world and stuff, but that requires he needs a physical body to become stronger, right? Yeah, I think I'm following. Okay, well, just let me get it. <laughs> Fanny, what are you doing? <laughs> Why would you stick your hands in a boiling furnace? See for yourself. Oh my god. What is all this? Glitchtrap's new body. Well, it certainly suits him. You're the last crucial part of this puzzle, Freddy. What? Why me? Well, did Glitchtrap never really explain to you what the Keeper of Color was? I mean, sure. I, I thought it was just, you know, you can change the physical appearance of something, you know? Make it transparent, or make it black, or make it white, you know, make it a different color. You know, I thought that's what the Keeper of Color meant. Freddy, yes, that's true, but it's more metaphorical than that, too. The Keeper of Color has the power to bring things to life. What? How? Why am I only learning this now? Because you're the most powerful keeper of them all, Freddy. Sure, Roxanne can manipulate sound. Sure, Chica can manipulate time. And sure, Monty can basically make anything, but... Life is so important. You know, it, the fact that you have that power, it's, it's really extraordinary, honestly. I had no idea. Well, you do now, and I need you to jumpstart this process when Glitchtrap gets here. It's not exactly easy to transfer a ghost into a body, and uh, you're kind of like the ignition. What? But I, I haven't learned! I don't even know how to do it! Well, you're gonna have to figure it out. Body ready is 
Of course, boss. It's right here. I've even got Freddy. We can do it right now. Fantastic. Freddy, bring my body down here. Okay. Yes. It's truly beautiful. You've done a wonderful job, Freddy. Thank you. No. Freddy, my boy. This is what I've been training you for. For this? I, I only learned about two minutes ago that I could even bring things to life. How do you expect me to get this perfect? What if I mess it up? You won't. I know you won't. Right, how do we do this? All you need to do is take my color and transfer it to the new body. That process will be start once I accept fate. Even while you're intercepting it, I will move to my new body. Okay. Okay. Right. Is there a certain trick? It's in your heart. Oh, God. You got this, champ. <laughs> Did anyone else hear just a tiny gasp? I just, I lost control of it and... The trap! Say something! I... Um... Vanny, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't... Look what you did! Vanny, you gotta understand. I, I didn't mean to. You did this on purpose. You sabotaged this. Everyone's been suspecting you forever. What are you talking about? We knew you were up to something. You've been lying to me this whole time, haven't you? You knew how to do this. You botched it. Threw him in the fire. B Vanny, I lost control. This is the first time I've done this. I had no idea. We'll see about that. Vanny, we can talk about this. For Master Good Chap. Vanny! Vanny! Feel, I can touch, I'm whole again. <laughs> Hi, boss. Incredible job, my boy. I knew you had it in you. You look great, boss. Thank you. I had a feeling someone had something positive to say about my appearance. It's good to know you've still got it for this family, Freddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll be on my way now. It is late after all. Of course, of course. Yes, you need to be well rested for the fight tomorrow. 
The fight? Yes, I had it all planned out. A full-scale invasion on this place. Now that I have my physical form, our plan can go into fruition. I assumed well that you'd be on my side, of course, Freddy. I didn't think it was going to be tomorrow. Well, it's time now. And you're ready to make a commitment, right? Of course. I'll be on my way now. Yes, of course. Hey, Freddy. Yes? What's in the bag? Uh, oh, just some of my stuff. I, I was just cleaning up, you know? And I just realized I had misplaced some things, so I had been looking around. I know it's kind of late to do that and all, but it just kind of slipped my mind earlier today. Of course. Would want to make sure your things are gathered for tomorrow. Yep, yeah, mm -hmm. yep, that's just exactly what I'm doing. Well, not like I knew that stuff was going to be happening tomorrow, but I'm happy I did it today. <sighs> yes. Except there's one problem. What's the problem, boss? That's not what you told Chica. Uh, what, what are you talking about? Oh, don't play dumb with me, Fazbear. I see all. I, I... Are you planning to betray me? I don't... Do you have your belongings in that bag to escape? What are you talking about? I just revived you! I, of course I'm loyal! Then what's in the bag? <laughs> That's strange. I could have swore there was something in that bag. So then what was in it? Freddy, I, I must have dropped it on the way in. Likely story! <laughs> Gregory! A child. Have you been hiding this from me this whole time? Let him go. Do what you need with me, but let him go. <laughs> Let you go. That's funny. I don't remember letting the other Glamrocks go for their misdeeds. <laughs> Great. You know, I could end this right here. Right now. Swear you into my allegiance with my powers, and then your little charade would be over. Having a little fun. Let's play a game, Fazbear. It's called Run and Seek. We seek. Come here, Fazbear. You can't hide from us forever. <laughs> we see all. <laughs> come on, then we'll hold him for long. What are we gonna do? We're gonna get the hell out of here. Now, come on. Behind me! Nighty night! I mean, good thinking, but warn me next time you do that! Sorry. On. Who woke me up? Not us, gotta go! <laughs> I've got you, you little pest. <laughs> what the? 
Come on! Ugh. There it is! The exit! Come on! Monty! How did you... Of course! Come on, Freddy! Give up! You've lost. Now, join us again, Freddy, so we can be a happy family. Come on! Can we reason a bargain? You're my friends! What's gotten into you guys? Glitch Trap has shown us the way, Freddy. You're only delaying the inevitable. You're the goody little two-shoes we were so reluctant to enslave. Chica, come on. After all this? After you and Roxanne ran away? I know you two are strong. Fight it! And Monty. You have a heart of gold, Monty. Come on, fight this! Guys! I think we should let him watch all his hard work be drained. <laughs> I'm sure he'd like that. Yes, I'm sure Glitchtrap would love this on loop. Say goodbye to the runt, Fazbear! Chica, stop! <laughs> Chica! Stop! Wait. If I can bring these to life with my color, then... <laughs> Chica, what's wrong? What are you doing? <laughs> Stop! You're hurting them! I, I was, I was hurting them. I, I was killing them. I, I don't know what came over me. I think they're okay. They're just passed out. I think. I hope so. They're still my friends after all. All right, come on. I'll be back for you all. I promise. Come on, Freddy. going? Where do you think? How are you feeling? Better. Good. That's good. I assume you guys came here because of what I said when I came in? Well, for one, I had no idea why we were coming here. She just kind of took me here and said, you know what we're going for, and I just, uh, I mean, yeah, it makes sense now. <laughs> yeah. So, back in March of 2021, I was kidnapped by Glitchtrap. Kidnapped? Why? I'm pretty sure he wanted to use me to get to his son, Evan Afton. I'm pretty sure you know that name well. Evan? Evan's with Glitchtrap? Yes. And I honestly didn't recognize him at first, but the more I looked at him, the more memories started to flood back. I remember the house. I remember the experiments. I remember everything. I'm so sorry it had to come to you like that. Eh, it's okay. I've been through worse. Whoa, whoa, whoa slow down. Who's Evan? And furthermore, what does he have to do with Glitchtrap? Henry, there's still a lot you don't know about this world. Okay, you don't have to give me the story of the Big Bang, but can you just explain to me what Evan has to do with Glitchtrap? Evan is Glitchtrap's kid. Uh, when he was younger, Glitchtrap used to experiment on him, and I was one of those test subjects. 
but my memory was wiped afterwards, and now we're here. You're serious? So that was what... all this time? You kind of showed up out of nowhere. Hmm. Didn't all of us? Point taken. I'm sure you've got some secrets hiding too, pal. Just waiting to be unlocked in that noggin of yours. Hmm. Well, I hope not, because... I've already got so much I'm dealing with already. Like what? Look, that doesn't matter. Point being, do you have any intel that we could use to stop Glitch Trap? Anything? Well, there was the night I escaped. Sorry. After I saw you, all the memories just started flooding back, and I... I realized that... I was a monster. Fredbear, you don't have to apologize for anything, okay? We all make mistakes, and besides, you were being manipulated by Dad. You couldn't do anything about that. It's out of your control. Yeah, I know. I just can't help but feel guilty. Well, look, you can start making up for it by going and finding the others. Finding the Resistance and... warning them about what's coming. Right. Wait. What are you going to do? I'm gonna kill Dad. Evan, that's suicide! What other choice do I have? If I don't do it soon, well, based on what I've heard through the walls, I'm not going to get another chance. You really have grown up, haven't you? Well, I'm trying my best. Go kick his ass for me, sport. Thanks, Redbear. And that was the last time I saw him. It's been four days since that happened. And now my fear has been stifling. Fear of what? That he might not come back. <laughs> don't say that. I know he's alive. Then why isn't he here? I don't know. I'm not him. He could be hiding in Glitchtrap's lair still, waiting for the time to strike. Or maybe he has killed Glitchtrap. And simply just... evading us for whatever reason. Well, I was connected to that goddamn thing for a year. I know that bastard's not dead. Well, I know Evan's not dead. I can feel it. So I don't know about you guys and feeling each other, but I think we've got bigger things to worry about. As much as I wish Evan was with us, we need to figure out what we can do to help him. Fredbear, is there anything that you know about Glitchtrap's plan that we could use to stop him? Not in particular. He seems to be doing the same song and dance of trying to take over the world, but this time it feels different. It feels more personal. How the heck is he gonna do that? People have tried before and it's failed. Well, that's typically because we have some kind of MacGuffin to fight them with. What if he has one? Does he have some kind of artifact that maybe he can use to take over the world? That's ludicrous. But think about it. Wouldn't Glitchtrap know this world better than anybody? Well, no. That person would be Shadow Freddy. But... He's been gone for God knows how long. God, I haven't heard that name in years. Where do you think he- I don't know. But that doesn't matter. Shadow Freddy's missing. Shadow Bonnie's out of the picture. What about the puppet? Well, we haven't gotten into contact with her, but... From what I've seen, she's lost it. How so? She's lost her memories. I have no idea how, but anytime it seems like anything related to the incidents is brought up, she stays mute. That's just great. You think Glitchtrap did that? 
It's hard to tell. Either way, I sent Baby out to get the toys uh, yesterday, so hopefully she'll bring them back. And the puppet along with them, because she seems to follow them everywhere. Mm. That's a good point. God, I hope so. I just have this aching feeling in my stomach that something horrible's coming. Doesn't it always? But that doesn't matter. We have to stand up and fight against it. Okay. We need a plan tomorrow. Well, of course. The three of us will meet a crack of dawn and we can start sorting out this whole mess. She better be right about Evan. Well, he seemed optimistic. <laughs> Edward, what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> I'm gonna hit the hay. Likewise. Evan? Evan, what's wrong? I... I failed. What do you mean? I escaped, but... I couldn't kill Dad. I'm sorry, Evan. I was so close. I had him right there. And I couldn't do it. Listen, it's fine. I don't know where you are right now, but just come to the resistance base. We can sort this out. No, 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 no. Don't you get it? There's no point. I feel that we're all doomed. Dad was right. I'm just a whiny crybaby. Nothing like you. You're strong and powerful and confident, and I'm just weak and sad, and I cry under the table. <laughs> You all would just be better off without me. Evan, that's not true. Look at me. Evan, would I have stuck around this long with you if I didn't find some value in you? When we first met, I was the most stubborn asshole that I knew. I was a jerk to you. I was a jerk to our friends. I was a jerk to my brother. Look how much I've changed. Heck, look how much you've changed. Sure, you may not have succeeded, but the fact that you even stood up to your dad, that, that's incredible. After the hand he held over you, Evan, you should be proud. <sighs> Evan, buddy, it's gonna be okay. No, it's not. Why not? Because dad wants to be a god. And he's already started the process. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's beautiful. Ah, and there come my faithful servants. Who's gonna tell him? Fanny. Fair enough, he does know me best. My faithful keepers, isn't it beautiful? I managed to move it in here, and now it is with us. And not with those filthy lower life forms in the basement. I just can't wait to see this core seeping with agony. It makes my heart tingle. <laughs> oh, what's left of it anyway? So, I presume you've all brought the bear's carcass. Well, funny thing about that, sir. We, uh, didn't manage to catch Freddy. Now I know you might be a little upset. You Do you all realize what you've done? Sir, with all due respect, it's simply Freddy. 
And on top of that, he's stronger than you think. Yeah, I don't know how he did, but it, it felt like he was sucking my soul out of me. Thank God he merely spared us. Interesting. I had known that the Keeper of Color could bring things to life, but I had not a thought that he could have simply taken them away as well. Truly fascinating. And a mistake to give a fool like that that kind of power. No matter. Once the core is constructed, his power will be merely insignificant to mine. And besides, if we invade soon, in a time of crisis, who's going to trust a newcomer like him? He's not interacted once with the outside world. Yes, he'll fall to the masses. They'll assume he's one of mine and kill him on the spot. <laughs> but as for now, you five, and where that meddlesome music man is, I couldn't be bothered. I thought you clear competent for this job, but it's clear to me now, you are not. I thought you were ready. You've disappointed me. Far from lived up to your potential. I thought being my own, you would be smarter than this. Especially you, Vanny. What did you even do that whole time? I mean, I slashed open a door, but... Listen, I kind of thought the Glamrocks can handle it, okay? I still don't have powers, you know. Sure, but maybe you would have laid waste to that bastard a little bit faster if you were one of the ones getting your soul drained. Whatever. We invade tomorrow. No sense in getting worked up about it now. Hey, what's with all the hubbleaboo? I heard the alarms go off. We're here. Oh, Bonnie. I'm shocked that you can't tell from a lack of Freddy Fazbear and the fact that he was in your room. That you don't know what all the hubbleaboo is. Well, dang, I just didn't notice. Nice new look, by the way. So, Freddy's gone. Yes, he's gone. Never to be seen by this family again. No, oh, isn't that just peachy? And you know, uh, Afton, I've been thinking, uh, since I'm next up in line, you know, those Keeper of Color powers obviously aren't suit for a traitor, so, you know, if uh, you could just hand them over to me, that'd be just swell. Listen here, bub. As much as I love to, I can't. What do you mean, can't? Sure, I'd love to suck those powerful powers out of Freddy Fazbear, but I can't do that. When I constructed the core, I used the last of my physical powers, and that is the exact reason why I had Fanny construct this body. It's meant to replace those things I lost when I made the core. And now that those powers are no longer quite at my disposal, I can't simply just take powers from people. Unless I had physical access to them, of course. But long distance, hell no. But... But I thought that... And also, you've been here for no more than a few mere weeks. I have two very loyal subjects, powerless back there, that I would far choose over you. And as far as I'm aware, you haven't even done anything! So get off that high little horse, start hauling ass, or you're not going to see any pretty little powers once I tear the head off of Freddy Fazbear! You drop these. Start hauling ass. I'll show you. Everyone, it's time for sleep. We have a big day tomorrow. We're going to be generating so much agony. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting tuckered out. Night, boss. Yeah, good night. Night. See ya. <sighs> oh, and by the way, before I forget... Where's your son friend been off to all this time, Moondrop? I'm not sure. I haven't seen her lately. Come to think of it, the day she left, 
feels foggy to me. Almost like my memories have been wiped. Hmm. And I never connected her to the hive mind either. Whatever. She's powerless, weak and pathetic. The most she'll do is provide a petty emotional support to that bear anyway. Good night. <laughs> Hey, uh, Ennard? What's up? Why did you call us all here? Eh, that'll be explained, you know, soon enough. As long as a circus baby gets back soon. Oh, that's why the space has been empty. Yeah, it makes sense. What did baby go to do? Went to go pick up some more of our friends. Mr. Ennard? Yeah, Withered Freddy? I've lost the concept of time. Is it day or night? It, it's day. You know you can go outside, right? Wait, we can? Yeah, this is just the safest place to sleep and stuff. I'm not, like, holding you all hostage here. We haven't hit the apocalypse yet. Wait, it... have you all been outside? Yeah, a couple times. I went to go buy a couple beers once. I don't know where I am most of the time. <sighs> I'm going to take a walk. D Withered Freddy, can you at least... <sighs> Whatever, he'll be back soon. Eh, it doesn't matter. Besides, Withered Golden Freddy and Nightmare Fred Bear aren't even here yet. Eh, you're right. So, uh, Ennard, hmm? I have a question for you. Funtime Freddy, are you about to say something stupid? Shut up, Bon Bon! Do you have a thing for baby? What? No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ew, no! Mm, I don't know. The way you've been looking at her is kind of fishy to me. Oh my god. If my tiny arms could reach my face, I would be face palming right now. Why would I even? That's just disgusting. She's my sister! Uh. What you did? Did I hear? You know what? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. You didn't hear that, right, Bonbon? No, I didn't hear that. Okay, yeah. <sighs> Morning, everyone. Oh, hey, with a golden Freddy. Morning. <sighs> I'm tired. Likewise, I'll tell you what. Not enough sleep can get you through a hangover. Are you still hungover? Oh, incredibly, but I can hide it very well. Sometimes I wonder where he gets all that alcohol from. <sighs> Hang on. Hmm. Do you think that they're actually... You know, Bon Bon, I have no idea. But clearly that's something Ennard wants to keep to himself. <laughs> Guys! Hey, Ennard, look who I brought. Hi, Ennard, sweetie. Hello. Sup? Hi, Ennard! Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we didn't intend to bring him, but he grabbed onto my leg and now he won't let go. PLEASE TALK TO ME! Not after you ate my cupcake a couple weeks back. Never again. Eh, but you just did! <laughs> uh, can we come inside? Oh, oh of course, yes! Uh, come on in! Phew, thank god. Hey guys, look who's back! Hi everybody! Baby, I hear your voice! Hey, Abelora. I missed you. You were gone for like... A day and a half. Maybe two tops. Yeah. <sighs> and obviously here's the toys. Uh, find a place to sit. We're all uh, just waiting. We were really just waiting for you guys. All right, well, this seems like a good spot. <sighs> okay, that's almost everyone accounted for, I think. Hey, wait a second. Ennard. Hmm? Where's the puppet? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Hey, uh, where's the puppet? Oh, the puppet. Uh, she's been spending a lot of her time with Security Puppet lately, so we haven't really seen her too much. I mean, Ennard, I didn't know I needed to get the puppet. Well, I didn't really know either until last night. Great. Whatever, we'll track her down with the others. Alright. Did Baby give you guys the basic rundown? Correct, Mundo. Good. Nightmare Fredbear should be up soon. Hey, Nightmare Fredbear. Morning. Oh, it's Nightmare Fredbear! He's all scary! Uh, should I give a greeting? Hi, Nightmare Fredbear! Hi! Wow, not even a negative reaction! Now I feel empty! Hey, are you okay? Still no sign of him. 
I'm getting worried. Uh, you see, Fred Bear, I... I talked to him last night. What? How? Did he come here? No. Me and Evan are linked through the void, and we can talk to each other when we're asleep. Um, he's alive. Oh, thank God. But the bad news... He didn't stop Glitch Trap. He's beating himself up about it pretty hard. Oh, poor kid. Well, at least he's safe. He'll be back to us soon, right? As soon as he thinks he's ready. That's what he told me. But there's, uh, worse news. And I'm just saying to keep this on the down low. Glitch Trap is well on his way to becoming a god. And he wants to destroy everything. And enslave the world. Oh god. Glitch Trap was the what?! I, I, I kind of forgot you were standing there. Wait, do we have more news on Glitch Trap? What's going on with Glitch Trap? Yeah, when do we start to get kicking his behind? Wait, what, what's going on? Uh... Glitch Trap's gonna become a god! And apparently he's well on his way into the process! Oh no. What?! Uh, guys, don't panic, please! God? How does he achieve that? I don't know. That sounds scary. I don't wanna be god food! I don't wanna be god food! Everyone, please! Can we be civil? Look, things probably aren't bad yet. We just need to plan. Fast. Hopefully our other friends are still safe. What was that? Oh no. It started! We're all gonna die! Don't see that yet! Alright. Everyone prepare. We have to see what the hell's going on out there. So why does he hate the light so much again? No idea. Just his thing, really. Well, considering the sun and the moon are a pair, it would make sense. Does that mean the sun hates darkness? Would you all stop talking about such useless things? We're almost there. Yeah, he's right. This is our big moment, everyone. We can't mess this up. Okay, but, like, I do have a question. Who are all these random stragglers we managed to pick up? Sometimes the hive mind will do as it pleases. Live and breathe and produce more. Even when I'm not quite in control of it. That's kind of freaky. Wait, I think that's them up there. Does anyone else hear that? Huh? Oh, no! Um, Freddy? I don't think that's what Foxy's so concerned about. Oh. Oh no. Well, it's so nice to finally meet you all. Your numbers seem to be smaller than I first predicted. Who are you? Well, my name is Glitchtrap. Glitchtrap? I feel like I've heard of that before. Yeah. And if you shall so excuse me, I have some corrupting to do. No! Foxy! Oh my god! Stop! You're hurting him! Son! Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Oh! What happened? That didn't quite go as planned, but I'll take it. Dad? Dad? Say something!
Wow! I didn't expect that! Rise, my minions. Oh my god, Foxy! Are you gonna be okay? I'm fine. Oh, oh my god! Hey! What the hell's your problem? Yeah, Buster! We're the proud time builds around here! This town ain't big enough for the two of us! Yeah, cheesy as all hell it may be. He's right. Back off of them! <laughs> Naive you are! <laughs> you all lack understanding. Heroes and villains tangled in this web of lies! What are you talking about? <laughs> You'll understand soon, boy. You all will. Once I've taken over this place, and drained it all of all the life, and all the happiness it's had, and it will all be mine! <laughs> I don't know who you think you are, but we're not gonna let that happen. Oh, really? All right, then. I'll prove you wrong. My militia! Nothing behind! Uh, I think we kind of realize that we're very severely outnumbered. Where the hell is everyone else? Guess we have to get bogged into a safe place. No, guys, really, I'm fine. Save yourselves. Yeah, not gonna happen, pal. Yeah. Oh, oh we're gonna get this patched up. Bonnie, what are you doing? Run! I don't even have my superpowers anymore. Yeah, I already told you earlier. Super proud or not? Huh? You're still my friend. Okay. Now we gotta find other people because we're very unnumbered! Hey guys, I'm back from my di- What the- I live for five minutes? Carl, it's getting bad out there, man. You don't think I can do? Oh, guys, I, I, I think we need to run. Okay, yeah, smart guy. Where to? We're kind of running out of room. That's not the part I'm worried about. Even if we keep running, we're gonna get tired. We need a place to go. I better think of a plan soon because we're running up. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, of time. Scatter! Ah, come on! Oh. Hey, come on, Maggle! Oh, oh, oh. ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah, no problem. Oh god. I'm gonna have a panic attack. There's too many of them. Even if we fight one, ten more come down the line. We need to find an escape. Wait, never Freddy. You think what I'm thinking? Thinking what? You know, the one place nobody's been for years. You're right! Everyone, follow me! This way! Okay! Come on, guys! Come on, Chica! Guys, come on! Hello, darling! Mango, come on! Okay! I guess we gotta follow them. All right! Come on! That's everyone, right? Yeah, I think so. Come on! What are you waiting for? Come on! Oh, go! Everybody, stop being selfless! <laughs> I'll kill each and every last one of you for my family! Come on, who wants some? I'm a fr Okay. And I'll kill each and every last one of you for mine. Come on! What the? Oh! Uh, let me get him! 
I want them! I wasn't done with them yet! Come on! Sir, they got away. Oh, good! That means there's no one left to proclaim this land. The world is mine! <laughs> What's wrong, Freddy? I just... I need a minute. Can we sit down? Sure. So what are we gonna do? To be honest with you, Gregory, I haven't a clue. I'm still kind of at a loss for words. Well, there has to be somewhere we can go. That's the problem. At this hour, combined with the fact that Athens invading tomorrow. Nobody's gonna believe me. With invasion impending, they're gonna be more worried about saving the people they care about. Not little old me and you. I hate to say it, Greg, but... Glitchtrap's smart. He knew if we tried to run away, it would be almost impossible to make allies with anybody. Yeah. I have no idea what we're gonna do. Gregory, I'm gonna take a walk. Please be careful. I don't even know where we are. You sure this is a good idea? Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, think about it. We know Sunrise exists, you've told me plenty about her. But, from what I know, she wasn't with the other guys. That's true. She's probably not under his control. Yeah. And this is probably the best possible option since we do have a little bit of a history. Yeah. Good thinking, kid. Alright. Let's go say hi to an old friend. Wow, it's oddly bright in here. Yeah. Place looks nice, though. <laughs> oh, people at this hour. They say never leave a customer dissatisfied. Hello, valiant customers. Hey, Sunrise. Oh, Glamrock Freddy, I have not seen you in a hot second. <laughs> nice hat. Oh, this little thing, just trying something different. Um, Freddy... Oh, looks like you've got a little one with you. Hello, new friend. You're sure up late. Are we having a slumber party? Where are all your friends? Uh, hi. What's your name? Uh, my name's Gregory. Well, Gregory, it is pleased to meet you. What can I do for the two of you? Listen, Sunrise, uh, we're... needing a place to stay. Hospitality's my little name, sweetheart. Is it really? No, I don't have one, but we're gonna pretend it is. Make it that legally changed, actually. Thank you. I do have another thing to tell you, though. Yeah? Some bad things have happened. What do you mean? Um... Well... How do I put this? Well, go on. Um... Well... Glitchtrap is kinda... Glitchtrap? Oh god, I... I hadn't even thought about him! What's he done now? Whoa, 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 take it easy. I'm kind of flustered right now about this whole thing. Are you planning to be a saboteur? Are you overthrowing? Or are you with him and trying to take me away? You don't understand glitch traps, uh, kind of- Come on! Out with it! He's planning an invasion tomorrow! And he found out that I was planning to betray him. Oh. Well, that's a relief. Phew. You sure jumped to conclusions, lady. No, 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 it's not like that. I- I don't know. I guess being all alone for these last few weeks have kind of made me go a little crazy. Yeah, you made that kind of obvious. I'm so sorry. They got stressed out. I never dreamed that one of you would still be with me. Well, I'm here. And I'm very happy to have you too, Sunrise. I think we'd literally have nowhere to go if it weren't for you. I'm happy to be of service. Whew. The three of us, we have a lot of 
work cut out for us. Not only do we have to find peace with the citizens, we have to stop Glitch Trap, and we have to save all our friends. Wait, save? Have they all been taken? I fear. And we need to work together to free them. I know they're still in there. I can feel it. Even Moondrop? Yeah. I mean, he's sort of been sl more slowly turning than the others, but I'm sure he's still somewhere in there. Okay. That's good. I'm sure you're worried about him. I promise we'll get him back. Yeah. Thanks, Freddy. No problem. Now, let's catch some Z's. I am tired. Let me set the two of you up a sleeping area. Alright, that should be finished. Come on, watch the ball. Hop on in, Greg. Ooh, it's comfy. Thank you. You're welcome, sport. I couldn't thank you enough for this sunrise. I'm just doing what's asked. I found my calling, really. I found out that I find a lot of joy in bringing happiness and hospitality to people. It's almost like I was meant for this. Hmm. I'm gonna get some shut-eye. You should too. You look tired. Oh, me? Yeah, it is pretty late now that you mention it. I'll probably finish dusting tomorrow. Good night, you two. Freddy, how sleepy are you? Because I'm kind of not tired. Oh, me? I'm fine. I'm sure you'll fall asleep before me. Really? <laughs> He's bad at lying. <sighs> I better get some sleep. <sighs> you done good, Sunrise. You done good. <sighs> I really need to get to installing some stairs. And I need to clean in here. <sighs> All right, everyone, let's. <sighs> what the hell? It, it's everyone else. What are you all doing here? Nightmare Bonnie. Fredbear! Where the hell have you been? You did just for the goof troop? Uh, guys, I... Guys, calm down. He's, he's got to be a reasonable explanation for this. I... Uh, uh, let me at him! Let me at him! Would you shut up, Nightmare Freddy? There's more important things to worry about. <clears throat> what could possibly be more important than... Boss? I missed you guys. <laughs> I tried my best to do good for you, boss. I tried. What happened to you, man? We were worried about you. Let's just say I kind of got caught up in some stuff. <laughs> Aww. My little heart's gonna melt. Okay, but there's other things. Guys, what happened out there? Well, let's just say I'm not in the tip top of shape at the moment. Oh my god, Foxy, that's terrible. What the heck did that to you? My dad. Whoa, what the heck is this plot twist? Listen, it's a long story. I've had a tiring day. Can we get settled in, guys? Yeah, sure. So, what happened out there? Listen, guy named Glitchtrap, I don't know who he is, but he's green and he kind of looks a lot like Springtrap. Huh, that's odd. That's not what Glitchtrap looks like by judging by everyone else's looks of him. Yeah, no, I mean, Glitchtrap looks kind of like Springtrap, but not like that. And besides, he's not even green, he's yellow. Well, this guy was missing his whole lower jaw, and he had his skull exposed, it was creepy. Yeah, not to mention the fact that he had a whole army with him. Oh, jeez. He gets worse. He has three crazy, super-powered individuals with him. One can manipulate time, I think, the other sound, and one can just make anything from thin air, it feels like. He hit me in the face with a giant hammer. It hurt a lot. This is more devastating than we thought. He talked about all of this stuff about trying to take over the world. <sighs> We've had stuff like that before, but not like this. So wait, did you guys know about this? 
Yeah, we all got invited to this super cool little club down here. And they were telling us we were going to fight a war and we were the resistance and it was all cool and stuff. W- where the heck was our invite? We were going to get to you guys. <sighs> okay, well, the important thing is, I think... Well, that's everyone, right? I mean, I think so. Everyone that would come into question, at least. Yeah, when it comes to people who actively live here, I think we've got everybody. Wait a second. We are definitely missing somebody. Yeah, wait a minute. Where's Withered Freddy? He's still out there! Oh god, he was so young. What, that doesn't mean he's dead, you dunderheads. Withered Bonnie's right. We need to start a search party. On top of that, the puppet still hasn't turned up. Wait a second. Where's Golden Freddy? Yeah, he's been awfully absent lately. In fact, I can't even remember the last time we saw him. Yeah, where the heck's it turned up to? Listen, I'm sure we'll find them all, I promise. It's just, this stuff takes time. Okay, well, we obviously need a plan, right? How about half of us focus on taking down Glitch Trap and the other half go search for the others? Oh, we're out here talking about numbers, Fazbear. You said it yourself. We're incredibly outnumbered by Glitch Trap. If we send too few people there, then they're all gonna get killed. Or worse, turn into one of those strange hive mind monsters that he has. <sighs> yeah, I hate to say it, but Nightmare Freddy's right. I wouldn't want some of us to get caught off guard by one of those things. Like me. Yeah, I wouldn't want one of us to get caught by those things. Like, what if Bonbon bon was caught and I wasn't? And secretly, Bonbon's bon been a spy this whole time. Freddy, I'm not a spy. Talk! Okay, stop! He's right, we need to meticulously plan this. Yeah. Okay, well, I think even at a current state, even if we sent literally everybody to go fight them, we'd still be outnumbered. They have limited power at their disposal. Who knows what they could be holding? So then what do you suggest? We send a few of our most stealthy members, and they go find information about the enemy. Things that we could use to plot against them, rather than just sitting around and waiting until one of them reveals something to us, because obviously that's not going to happen. We're not just going to have some angel fall from the sky and fight for us. And then everybody else goes and looks for the missing folk. Well, we should keep a few here to plan, at least, and hold the fort down. Who knows if they might invade here, and then this is just their own private bunker, and we have nowhere else to go. True. Alright, we'll divide the teams like this. Freddy. Mangle. Withered Bonnie, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Foxy, Nightmare Chica, Funtime Foxy, and Baby will go out for stealth. And then, Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, Withered Chica, Withered Foxy, Nightmare Mangle, Ballora, and Chica will go out to search. And then the rest of us stay here and hold down the fort. All right, everyone, break. This is for the resistance and for the world. I don't know how you guys do that crap. It's so tiring. Well, I gotta boost morale somehow. Hey, Nightmare Freddy. Yeah? When we were back there and all, and you asked me if everyone was okay, what did you mean by you were doing this for your family? Well, obviously I meant for the nightmares, but... What do you mean by this? I'm just saying, you were pretty damn sure that everybody in my group was safe too. Well... We may screw around with you guys sometimes, but we'd never intentionally hurt you like that. Outlying some psychotic outbursts, my bad. And well, in a way, even if I'm from Shadow Freddy's machines, we're still family. And nothing's gonna change that. Besides, I got my boss back, so no more psychotic outbursts for me, I swear. At least it won't affect your guys' lives. No. For being my evil doppelganger, he's alright. Hey, everybody. Wait, Mr. Butters, where have you been? Oh, I was out doing my evening jog. What about you? Wait, I, I'm confused. I didn't know you were going on a nightly jog. Yeah, I did. Did I miss something? Where is half our people? Also, hi. A lot of people that weren't here before. Hi, Mr. Butters. Hi, Bonnie. Okay, okay, whatever. Oh, yeah, I saw uh, Withered Freddy kind of puffing and puffing. Is he okay? Wait, you saw Withered Freddy? Where's he now? Mm, he was like, that was like 15, 20 minutes ago. I have no idea. Ugh. Was it something I said? I knew I was forgetting something. It's been itching to me all this time why that one day I remember last seeing sunrise. 
is so foggy. She must have used that meddlesome memory wiper to erase that day from my brain. No more. The day of vengeance is here. <laughs> I gotta say, though, in my absence, she certainly spiffed up the place. She's in there. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> what happened? Did you have a nightmare? <laughs> the moon guy. Moon guy. What? He was there. And I didn't see him. He was about to get me. Moon guy? Do you mean moon drop? How is Freddy not awake? I don't know, maybe he's a heavy sleeper. <laughs> Sunflowers. Oh god. Okay, calm down. If we can't get Freddy awake, we'll solve through this kid. Just keep good old Sunrise up to the task. I'm sure whatever's going on has a perfectly good explanation. We just have to stay calm. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Okay, come here, kid. All right, I'm sure it's not a big deal. It'll be manageable, right? Even if he's back. I mean, we haven't actually seen him yet. I definitely have. Okay, I haven't seen him yet. Maybe you're just hallucinating. That doesn't exactly help my conscience. What was that? Did I just see? Oh, no. All right. Ah, what are you doing? This will keep you safe. Just stay in there until I get the bad man to go away. I'm not that young. What are you, like, five or six? I'm like ten! Okay, five, six, ten, what's the difference? A lot when you take their bedtime into consideration. <gasps> <gasps> it's been far too long, Sunrise. We've got some catching up to do. Moondrop, listen, I know the last time we encountered wasn't too pleasant, but well, you gotta understand, we're trying to help you. Oh, quit the jibber-jabber. I don't need help. I've never needed help from you. Oh, come on, buddy. What happened to the good old days? Oh, yeah. I wonder. You disappeared. Well, you certainly never came looking for me. Ever thought about that? Sometimes when people are confused and scared, they disassociate. Which I've done that plenty of times before in my life. I just wanted to give you some space, Moondrop. I didn't know how far off the deep end you went. I'm sorry. Shut up! I'm sorry, Moondrop. This is for your own good. Let me out, you rat! Let me out! I'm sorry. There's nothing else I can do! You won't listen to me! It hurts! Since when were you so afraid to go into the light? Answer me! Since I couldn't see it anymore! All it is is pain now, and I don't know why! <laughs> There's only one way, and that's to face your fears. 
Gregory, what are you doing? What do you see? <laughs> Come on, there has to be something. <laughs> fight it, Moondrop, fight it. <laughs> subsiding. It's just white. Drop. What are you doing to him? Taking him out of your control. That brass proved to be a most fast. Whatever. He'll return to me momentarily. Sunrise. What? I'm sorry. It's too much. I don't think we all can be freed. It's going to take a little more fighting than that. I'm sorry. No job! Run! Run away! Save yourselves! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not your fault, kid. I'm just so tired. I miss him so much. We were so close. But Sunrise... There's a push to keep fighting, right? It may not be that easy, but there's strength in trying harder. You're right. You're right. You're right. We'll get him back. I know we will. You're quite the happy little kid, aren't you? Well, we're sure as hell making some progress. We just know it's gonna take a little more push. Get some elbow grease into it. You're real sweet when you warm up to people, you know that? <laughs> Lights are on. Oh, good morning, everybody. Whew, that was the best sleep of my life. I'll tell you what, Sunrise, you... Oh, hey, Freddy. Sure are good at making beds. What happened out here? Look, it doesn't matter. We've got some developments anyway. Oh? Like what? Well... Freddy, I hate to say it, but I don't think we're gonna be able to free all our friends like we think we are. Yeah, as much as I hate to say it, we kinda have to kill Glitchtrap. I think it's the only way. And if it means getting through our friends... We're gonna have to hurt them. Listen, we'll, we'll get to that when the time comes. For now, we need to fight. We need to find them. At least try our best to fix them, but if we can't, then... We're gonna have to at least incapacitate them. Yeah. Think a logical mindset. I'm optimistic, but we're gonna try everything we can. Of course. I don't know about you two, but I'm ready to get to work. We could have used a little more shut eye, but I'll survive. Sorry. I'll be okay. Come on, let's get out there and start fighting. Yeah, come on, kid. Mm. Uh. It's starting to get bad now. Hey, kid. Are you okay? 
You're coming, right? Of course, Freddy. <clears throat> All right, that's what I like to hear. March! Hey, Fredbear. Huh? What is it? I'm still a little confused on something. Lay it on me. Well, back there when you were talking to Old Man Consequences, right? Yeah. What did he mean by get a little scientific? I'm still a little confused on that whole thing. Well, he's essentially saying that I need to scientifically break down Afton's philosophy. I am kind of following? The way Afton operates is on a science, something that I failed to realize until he pointed it out to me. Afton does not plan. He merely works in the moment, as hard as that may be to believe. He said it himself. The first trap I set for him, he escaped, and the second one, well, he walked into it fully knowing that it was a trap. He wasn't exactly sure what it was for, but... Even with my big grand finale and something to send him off and finally kill him, he had a backup plan. So you're saying, in a situation of need, instead of planning ahead, Afton just pulls at whatever string shows up? Exactly. That feels oddly irresponsible. But that's the point. He uses that to his advantage. Well, unbeknowingly uses that to his advantage. How so? You'd think a psychopathic serial killer would, well, plan out his next move, but he doesn't. So everyone tries to work like he's planning something. And you're saying that you have to get in his mindset to stop it? Exactly. Huh. Well, okay, I get that part, but how exactly do we work spur of the moment? Well, we can't just assume he's dead. We have to follow him to his grave. Wow. That's... Whew. How are we gonna do that? I don't know. But one thing's for dang sure. We can't be too sure until we know he's dead. Because if there's a string available, Afton will tug on it to survive. Even if that means sacrificing his soul to the machine... Yeah, you're right. Are you worried about them? A little. I don't know, I just... I just want to be sure they're going to be okay, you know? The last thing I want for to happen is for them to get hurt, and... It just feels like it's so easy now. We'll protect them, Springtrap. And everyone. You just have to have a little faith. I know. I'm gonna hit the hay. Good night, Fred Bear. Good night. Get some good rest, please. We have a big fight tomorrow. I know. Should be out of the flip side soon. Yeah. Uh-oh. 